Did you buy a really cool pair of ripped jeans like this only to have all of that white fuzziness disappear and now you just have giant gaping holes? I know some people are into that look, but I'm not one of them and if you're not either and you want to learn how to put these white fuzzy strings back in and have them stay permanently perfect, in this video I'm going to show you how. But before I do, how did you get these holes? Was it from just simply washing your jeans? Or did you accidentally karate kick through that hole when you were putting them on? Or did an adorable child that you absolutely love start picking at them and you just kind of let them rip them all out? I can either confirm nor deny what happened to my jeans, but I would love to know what happened to yours. So let me know down in the comments and then let's get to fixing these jeans. So the first thing we need is elastic thread. This is not the regular thread that you use for sewing. This one stretches. And this is really important because I tried this. So I sewed one side with the stretchy thread and I did the other with regular sewing thread. And you see it doesn't stretch. And the problem with this is that when you bend, especially here at the knee, the elastic thread's gonna bend with you. The regular thread is going to dig into you. It's actually a little bit painful and it feels like you're going to pop these. And probably if I bent all the way down, I would. We don't want that. We want this to be permanent and to stay and be comfortable. Also, you'll notice that when I'm standing up straight, the elastic thread tends to look a little smoother, a little bit more like the original, whereas the non-stretchy thread just kind of like creates this knotted mess. This doesn't look as good, I don't think. So go with the elastic thread. You'll also need scissors a needle, and possibly a needle threader. So this stretchy thread is much thicker than regular thread, so you might have a hard time getting it through the eye of your needle. So you can just take the needle threader, take the little metal hoop part, and push it through the eye of the needle first. Then take your elastic thread, put it through the metal hoop, and then pull the hoop and the thread through the eye of the needle. This will make your life so much easier. <laughs> if you don't have a needle threader, you can typically get them at any fabric store or you can buy, see the one that I linked below in the description. And then once you've threaded the needle, you're going to need to put a knot at the end of your thread. So try to make this knot as close to the end of your thread as you can just to save thread and then snip off any excess. And now that we have the needle threaded and the knot, we can actually start sewing. Oh, and if it helps you, you can get a little piece of cardboard and put it inside the jean to make sure that you don't sew the front part of the jean to the back. I found this to be a little bit annoying personally, but it might help you, so you have that option. Now we're ready to start sewing, and you're gonna wanna start from the bottom and push up. That way the knot that we created is like underneath or inside of the jean and then go from left to right or right to left, whatever you want. I just like left to right. And try to go in straight lines across the hole because that's how these fibers typically are. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Just go back and forth, back and forth. But the thing you do want to be cautious of is make sure that you don't pull this too tight. Like right here, you can see I'm pulling this like pretty tight just to make a point. And you can see you're gonna have this rippling around the jean leg. You don't want that. You want this to lay flat. So if you're pulling too tight, just loosen it, pull it apart again, and it will all look just fine. Now you can just keep going back and forth, back and forth until you have enough threads that you think it looks full or finished. So when your thread is too short to keep sewing, we're going to need to knot it off. To do this, all you're going to do is flip your jean right side out so you can see the inside. And then right where your thread has come out of the jean, this latest one, you're going to take your needle and push it under just a couple little pieces of denim and pull it through, pull it all the way through. And then do this one more time and you should create a little loop of elastic on your thread. You should see it like this. Then in, in that loop, you're going to push your needle and then as you're pushing it through, you should create a little loop outside. You see it right here. Put your needle through that and pull it tight. This will keep everything knotted and in place. No matter if you're washing it or anything in the future, it's not gonna come out. 
I found it really helpful to try these on after I finished sewing each section, just to make sure that I hadn't sewn it too tight or too loose. You see that one thread's a little bit loose, I can play around with this, pulling the threads back and forth until everything lays nicely. And yeah, we're just going to continue this process, sewing and checking it, sewing and checking it, until we filled in the whole gap. Now, one extra thing you might want to do is if you have these extra white fraying pieces still, you can wrap them around the elastic thread that we've just sewn. It just, for me, makes it look extra fuzzy and it looks more like how it was when I originally bought it. Now, I'm not saying that these are going to stay here forever. You might, when you wear them, you may have to like re-roll them. But for me, I like the look of having these rolled around the elastic. Totally optional, up to you. <laughs> And there you have it. That's how you can repair your jeans to looking brand new and have them stay that way. Now on the right, this looks exactly like how these jeans were when I bought them. On the left, I put a little bit less thread and I left the fuzzy things hanging down. So you can see, you can finish these however you want. You can leave them more gappy like on the left side using less thread or fill them all the way in like on the right side and use the fuzzy things to fill it in. Up to you, whatever look you're looking for, you can get it using this method. So I hope that you love this tutorial. If you want other fun ways to upcycle your clothing and keep wearing them, then be sure to subscribe below. I do lots of videos on sewing your own clothes and repairing the clothes you already have. And if you're looking for another fun sewing project, then why not check out one of the ones I have posted on screen now. I hope you love your jeans. I hope they're super comfortable and happy sewing.